I just got a Starbucks, by the way, and look at the name they put on it. It says Olivara. That's pretty close though, I'll give him that. Like, he, he tried, he tried. Actually, I think it was a woman, it was a woman. Hi guys, so I wasn't actually supposed to make a video today. That was not my plan or my goal or my aim in life, but I'm making one because I saw something on the internet today and it really just, I guess, triggered me. I just felt like I had to talk about this for some reason, maybe because it has something to do with me as well, or it kind of, it doesn't really affect me, like as in I don't really give a shit about the comments that I read, but I can see that it's affecting young girls and I hate to see that. I'm 22 now, but when I was younger, this is something that affected me as well. So I'm gonna just tell you first what it is because you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Tell us what you're talking about. I watched Casper Lee's new video today. I don't know if any of you have seen it yet. Basically, he goes on a Tinder date with a girl. Basically, the point that I'm trying to make is this girl happened to have quite hairy arms. I didn't fucking notice, let me tell you, because for me, that is not something that I look at on a person when I meet them. I'm not like, hmm, let's see. Oh fuck, your arms are hairy. I don't really really want to talk to you. That's weird. You're ugly. Like, that's not me. Like, I don't give a shit. You can have a hairy fucking face. I don't care if you're a lovely person or a nice person and you respect me, then we can be friends and we can chat. I don't care what you look like. But a lot of people happen to really care that this girl's arms were slightly hairy. I mean, there was this one fucking guy in the comments who was like a fucking maniac. This guy was such an asshole. I have never seen comments like his. They were bad. And I was reading them and obviously like I wasn't affected personally because like I really, like I said, I really don't care what people think anymore. I've gone through that stage in my life where I cared, where I was like scared or like self-conscious about things. I'm used to people being horrible to me for no reason, thinking I'm a bitch, calling me a bitch. They've never met me. They haven't hung out with me. So I'm kind of used to that. So for me, I was like, yeah, I don't give a shit what this random like person on the internet thinks, but I could see that there was a lot of young girls who were affected by this and they were saying like, oh, I have dark arm hair and I'm a bit like offended that people are commenting on this and na, na, na. and then horrible people were replying to them. And I was just like not okay with reading these things and seeing how these girls were affected by it. So for some reason, like I just felt like I had to make a video about this. So I'm gonna just read to you a few of the comments that this fucking lunatic or whoever this fucking guy thinks he is, he thinks he's like a god. Some of the comments he left on this video that just like, oh, like got to me a little just because I was like, I can't believe that people like this exist in this world. Like, are you a fucking idiot or what? I'm sorry, this is just making me angry that people like this exist on our planet and I just wanna kill it with fire. I took a screenshot of a few of the comments that I was like, whoa, you have issues with your brain. So here we go. This guy, I'm not gonna say his name, or anything because like I don't want anyone to know who he is because he's not worth knowing. A girl said, I have dark arm hair, at least I'll be warm unlike you cold heart hearted bitches that find something bad to say about everything, LMAO. Lol, you go girl, you get him, you tell him girl, you tell him. Sister. Because obviously she was offended, so she had to, I just spat everywhere, sorry about that, you probably didn't see it. Anyways, this guy writes, if the hair on your arm keeps you warm, then it must look like a bloody gorilla. Okay, first of all, like, we used to be fucking gorillas once upon a time, so like, what's your point? Thank you for telling me something that I know already in my life. Another thing he wrote was, just shave your arms, it's not that hard, and then you don't get bullied. First of all, why would you get bullied? Okay, I was never bullied about my arm hair, or anyway, at least not to my face. I don't know, people might have been bitching me, like, look at that fucking hairy ass girl there, she's disgusting. I don't know, maybe. But I was never bullied, like, directly to my face, no one said anything about that. I mean, I had friends, people People liked me for me, not because of my arms. And I just find it ridiculous that people think you're gonna necessarily get bullied if you have arm hair. Arm hair, it's natural. We human beings grow hair. This is a natural thing that happens in life. And why is it okay for guys to be fucking hairy all over their bodies and walk around with it, like showing it off as if it's some kind of like really cool thing to have. And we have to literally get rid of every single piece of hair that we have on our body to like fit society's idea of perfection. Like why? Who made this rule in life that being completely hairless is sexy because honestly like no just just no I'm sorry but this guy must have a really like I don't know he must be traumatized in his own life and have like some serious personal issues to be talking like that to other people you must be the fucking bully then that's doing the bullying because no one else is getting fucking bullied about this I mean not that I know of and if you are getting bullied about this then I'm really sorry and people are fucking assholes and no one should be bullied about something like that because it is fucking natural I'm gonna keep going with the comments just so you guys 
guys have an idea of the type of asshole this guy is and then we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. Okay, so another girl wrote, Okay, but some people in the comments section need to grow up. People are making fun of her arm hair, but to be honest, I didn't even notice it until I read the comments. It's natural and it's not something people should make fun of because they're jealous. This guy replied to this comment, Please, why bother wearing makeup if you're not going to take the time to make the rest of your body beautiful? Oh, kill me now. I can't deal with his ignorance and stupidity. I'm sorry, but women, or men as well, who wear makeup, we don't wear makeup necessarily because we want to look beautiful. Because people are naturally beautiful, okay? You don't have to wear makeup to look beautiful. Some people wear makeup because it's a hobby. Some people wear makeup because they want to experiment with it with different colors. Some people wear makeup because they just feel more confident with it. This doesn't mean that it makes us more beautiful. We're already naturally beautiful. So I'm sorry, but you are a fucking idiot. Also, what has that got to do with shaving? Like what the f fuck? He's basically trying to tell me that if we shave a fucking gorilla, it's gonna be stunning. Like what are you talking about? Okay, he's basically trying to say that anyone who doesn't have hair is absolutely gorgeous. Well actually, everyone is gorgeous. I think everyone's beautiful in their own way. Basically what I'm trying to say here is his comments make makes no fucking sense, so I'm sorry little shit. What you're trying to say isn't working. And the last comment that he said is, uh, someone wrote, your babies will have perfect hair as in like Casper and this girl. Look at her damn arm hair. And then the same guy wrote, are you on about the disgusting hair on her arm. Girls are meant to shave their arms. And then he was like, if a girl doesn't shave their arms in my town, you would be seriously bullied. Fair enough, fair enough. There's different religions, there's different cultures, and I don't want to be a dick because like I don't know and I'm not educated well enough to know which countries and places are banning hair, but that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I respect all sorts of religions and I don't care where you're from, what your religion is, I will respect you, but banning having body hair, you need to go to a fucking psychiatric hospital because you are not well in the head, my friend. So basically, that's what's pissed me off today. This little asshole here has just made me angry because he's so fucking ignorant that I can't fucking deal with it. I don't usually reply to hate comments or pay attention to them really because I'm just like, this person's stupid. There's no point for me to give him her attention or give them the time of day. The reason I'm doing this though is because it's something that affected me. I mean, I'm hairy as fuck. Fuck, okay? Like, I'm a hairy ass person and I can't help it. I'm always gonna be like that because my family, we're all fucking hairy, okay? I have hair growing out of fucking everything. The only hair that doesn't fucking grow is the hair on my head. It grows so slowly. Everything else, like, shave it. The next day you gotta shave everything again. Like, I'm sorry, but you know how annoying that is and how time consuming that is? So I understand young girls who are affected by this who are just born that way. We can't help the way we are born. Some countries, people are hairier than other countries. Most of my friends are from countries that don't grow much hair. So I've always had friends who were just super hairless. Or maybe they just didn't tell me and they shaved a lot. So I grew up always being like the hairy kid. And yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, I've waxed before, I've shaved. I fucking shaved my arms once. I told my mom that I shaved my fucking arms and she was like, Olivera, you're fucking crazy. She was like, shave your arms one more time and they're gonna start growing thicker and you're gonna turn into a fucking gorilla. So she was right, you know, now they're really, really thick, so my bad. But it's okay, I've learned to accept that this is who I am. Yes, from time to time I'll wax my arms, but I've also realized that I'm allergic to any wax they're using because then I get like a breakout on my arms, which is like worse than being hairy. So I've just decided to just go all natural and just be a hairy ass girl. Because that's, that's me, that's me. I'm hairy, okay? I have a fucking mustache as well. Like, I'm a hairy person. Person. I have to go get rid of that every fucking month. Do you know how much effort it takes to live up to society's expectations of perfection? Because I'm spitting again. So passionate. Because it sucks. It sucks that there are these pictures of these models of these people who we feel like we need to look like them, but we don't. We, You don't have to look like them, okay? You're beautiful in your own way. You are a natural person. You are, I don't know, I could speak forever about this because I'm so passionate about it. Honestly, I'm so sick of seeing perfection and being told that you're not perfect and that this is wrong and that is wrong. Like, who who are these people to tell us that you're not perfect? Like, what is perfection? Perfection doesn't exist. Perfection is not a thing. Everyone is unique in their own way. If we all look the fucking same, what, what would happen? Like, it would be the most boring world in the world. Like I said, the reason I'm making this is because I know there are young girls out there who are offended by this, and you girls try and ignore this. I know it's easier said than done, but that's what I do. If someone wants to tell me something bad, like, fucking tell me. I don't give a shit. You're not important to me in my life. I don't need the negativity. I brush all the negativity away. No one should have a problem with our hair. The people who fucking have a problem with our hair have a fucking problem with their own life because that's not normal. We're hairy people, okay? So I just went to Starbucks now to get a coffee with my hairy ass legs. Didn't have time to shave them this morning. And you know what? Who cares? Also, something else is hairy too, but I haven't dealt with that yet because I don't have time. Who cares?
cares? My point is, girls, try and ignore these people. These people are ignorant people who are uneducated. Oh, another comment this fucking guy said was like, Oh, I'm 15 and I have a girlfriend of two years now and she is perfect, hairless, and absolutely beautiful. Yeah, honey, you're 15, okay? Like, actually, hang on. When do people hit puberty? Like, way earlier, right? I don't know, but th when she turns into a young adult, watch her. She's gonna start growing things she didn't even know grew, okay? And then what are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking dump your girlfriend because what? She grew a few arm hairs? That's fucked up. You're fucked up. Anyway, girls, ignore the haters. Why should you care about what some low-life, completely irrelevant person said? Who cares? Trust me, you're gonna get on completely fine in life with your hairs, enjoy them, brush them, maybe give them a dye job, style them, you know? Like, why not? And from time to time, if you wanna get a fucking wax, get a fucking wax. Do what you wanna do because it's your body, it's your life, and no one, no one should be telling you anything. Someone tells you to shave it because they don't like it, get away from that person. Don't let anyone be negative and control you or tell you what to do in your life because they are not worth it. Make them leave. I'm just looking out for you girls because I was that girl too once upon a time back in the day. I just know that it sucks and it can be hurtful and you can also just feel super self-conscious. But trust me, you'll learn to not give a shit. It just happens throughout the years. You'll just be like, I don't give a shit. I'm hairy. Woo! Anyway, that is the video for today. I just had to get this little rant out. Go watch the video on Cass Release channel. It's pretty funny. He's such a funny guy. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Boom, boom, boom. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Have an amazing Monday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, 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 bye. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because, you know, why not? Who doesn't want to listen to me talking about my arm hairs? It's just like the best Monday ever. Bye, guys. Bye. And as they turn a corner, we see a police car coming at us. And I'm like, fuck, let's stop the police car. Like, let's get help. Let's get someone to help us. So we stop this police car and we're like to the policeman, excuse me, like I just got robbed, like someone just pickpocketed me and stole my wallet and they're over there, there's a bunch of guys, like help us, help us.